How's it Hello. going? We're Maria here and Amber. I represent Food by Maria. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm we probably gonna that. I'm probably gonna cut her off a lot, <laughs> I, and I'm probably gonna cut her off too. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm from social media platform Food by Maria, and we're here to talk about a really special topic. But before I do that, I'll let my friend introduce where she's from. Thank you, Maria. I am Amber from Amber Food. I'm your leading health food expert, specializing in emotional eating, and of course the host of the No Sugar Coding podcast, which is where we're gonna be taking this full conversation to. So let's talk more about this topic a little bit because I feel like we're in the season, spring is taking us into summer hopefully soon, yes. and there's a lot of pressure. Oh, certainly, if you put the pressure on yourself. Yes, it's a choice. So we're talking about the summer bod. Mm -hmm. My favorite topic. Yeah, mine too. I actually hate it. Yeah. And I actually feel like falling over every time I hear someone say, summer bod ready, you are goals, you are summer bod. No, yeah. you're nothing. You're 24-7. Uh, yeah. So. What do we suggest to them? Should they fuck their summer bod? I'd say so. I'd say it's something that needs to go because we put too much pressure on ourselves and then if we don't live up to the standard, we end up upset. More than upset. We end up unhealthy, we end up potentially gaining weight, causing imbalances in the body, and none of that does us any good. We want to build confidence and build love and feel, feel confident in our bodies. Well, we want to learn that, well, so what I always say to people is if you appreciate the body you live in, and if you love the person you are before you decide to create change, that's a good way to go about yes, it. Yes, acceptance. But, it, but um, in today's society, what we're seeing a lot of is people working on change in order to become happy, and that's never gonna happen. You can lose all the weight in the world, you can have the best lashes, you can have the best brows, the best booty, the best clothing. Yeah. If you don't love the person you are before you decide to make those changes or buy those changes, you're not gonna be happy. It's as simple as that. So true. So before we kind of jump into all these sort of avenues of the summer bod, we're gonna ask you, are you out there wishing that you had this summer bod? Yes. Are you suffering from the question is sort of asking yourself, am I am I good enough for summer? Yeah. And do I need to look a certain way to enjoy my summer? Otherwise, I'm not going to give myself permission to enjoy summer. No, yeah. Do you know what? You actually proved that point to me yesterday and I never thought about it like this before. So maybe five years ago, I don't think I'd ever thought of the summer bod, but yes, you'd often think to yourself, what am I going to look like in a bikini? Um, and if you didn't meet that goal and you didn't look a certain way or the way you perceive to look before June, you wouldn't enjoy your summer because you wouldn't feel comfortable in that bikini or in that bathing suit. And that's tragic. Who gives a shit what you look like? I promise you, people do not care. I've gone out with the hairiest legs in public and I've actually had people say to me, go on girlfriend, you don't give a fuck. And I look at them, I'm like, I know. Like my boyfriend doesn't even care, why should I? I think it's so important as well that we don't dictate our happiness based off of a clothing size, the number that you know you see on the scale. I think it's so important that we go, you know what, I am good enough now. Literally fuck the numbers because the numbers mean nothing and the numbers are literally killing us and making us sick. Yes. So let's stop the number game and let's actually focus on being healthy, feeling healthy, because I definitely know I've worked with enough people that have said, you know what, I don't need to lose another 10, 20 pounds because I have my cycle, I feel good in my clothing, my hormones are balanced, I have my energy, I'm not binge eating anymore. Why would I want to punish myself to try and look a certain way for summer when I feel amazing now and look amazing now? Exactly. And ways that you can sort of skew from this mindset are things we talk about in the podcast that's coming yes. up. Yes. Uh, so suggestions I make if you are still sort of number focused um, but in a very positive way what I like to do is think about inches um, percentage uh, I hate calories but the only way I can kind of tell you this without sounding like I'm calorie oriented is um, intake so for instance for instance if I want to get stronger I measure my quads so at least that way I know they're growing or getting smaller. Mm -hmm. I'm reaching my goal. I'll measure, measure my bum, my biceps, which I don't exist. Um, <laughs> and uh, what else was I saying? Inches? Inches. Oh, oh, and percentage. So if you wanted to lose weight, but like we've said, the number doesn't matter. But if you wanted to actually measure that appropriately, you could look at your body fat percentage, which is a really great way to measure what's going on, but it don't, is. but don't think about it too much. And don't go too low because that's when things like losing your cycle and hormone imbalances are going to happen. So For it's sure. all about finding that healthy 
balance for you and what feels good. Right. And so everyone's going to be different. Everyone's yes. going to have their opinions. My my body fat percentage isn't the highest. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way, but I come from a family that has quite a bit of muscle. So it is normal for me to have that small number. As long as you still have your period as a woman, you're going to be okay. So yeah. don't let people's opinions change the way you should feel about yourself. Yeah. And then yeah. the, and, and just because Britney Spears might have a low body fat percentage or some celebrity does not mean that we're meant to. No, exactly. Exactly. So we want everyone's to different celebrity stuff. Absolutely. So not to call Amber out. We're shaped very differently. Yes, she has we are. hips. Something I have not really been blessed with. I have like <laughs> my father's figure, which I love. Thank you, Dad. Um, how could I compare myself to, to Amber? Yeah. She's carvelicious. I had to work for this and she just like woke up with me. <laughs> and the last thing we were saying was intake. Uh, people want to either gain or lose weight, right? Yeah. Don't focus on the calories, but just think about what you're eating. So and enjoy food. Yeah. Food is nourishing. So never skip breakfast and eat no. breakfast. And then just check it off. Like you, yeah. you've eaten your breakfast. You're, you're good to go. Right? And make sure you're eating regularly through the day. And don't be afraid to eat. Like have your healthy proteins, your fats. Have your carbs. Have healthy carbs. It's not, I'm not saying you have to go and have white bread and all the processed stuff. But enjoy your oats. Enjoy your quinoa. Enjoy those things because we need them. And you're going to keep your energy if you nourish your body well as you're going through the process to improve your health. You're gonna you're gonna feel good, which is important. Before I make a statement, what is it in carbs that's very? Is it glycogen? Glycine? Gly yes. Glycogen. And the beauty of carbs is that when we consume them, they take the less the least amount of energy to break down in the body, which means we can keep more energy to focus on healing the body, um, balancing other things. Versus when we eat fats and proteins, they take a lot longer to break down. So then there's less energy to focus on healing or balancing. So carbs are very important for balancing hormones weight loss, yep. building muscle, yes. and I am so sick of seeing people going on all these low-carb, no-carb diets. It's a joke! And then they're afraid of eating a bell it's, pepper I and a to, carrot. I used to be that, oh my goodness. not peppers and carrots, but like Brutal. Andrew's nan used to feed me like cups of potatoes, and I was like, I can't do it. Well, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, but no, like, but really good. if you're terrible. afraid of eating an apple, then we need to talk because you shouldn't be afraid of eating healthy foods. Um, so just to kind of like go back, I, we just watched this documentary, Andrew and I, and it was super enlightening because everyone is afraid of carbs. And literally, I get messages every day, Maria, you eat so many carbs, how do you stay thin and fit? And this documentary explained it perfectly. Like, it, like, it's so easily burnt. So it's con stored in your body as energy. Yeah. Not as fat. You burn that shit. It doesn't just sit there. It's not like when you eat chicken, an avocado, nuts. That's stored differently. That's much harder to burn. Carbs are literally... They're a quick fuel. They're eating quick fuel. to help you. Why yeah. do you think all these marathon runners are doing carb loading? Yeah. It's not a joke. Eat your carbs, I promise you. Since I've started eating many, many, many more carbs in my diet, I've noticed a more consistent um, digestive system. My skin is cleared up. Everything, I'm more balanced. I'm not deprived. My sugar levels aren't going up and down. Yeah. These are small things you can do to reach that body that you can maintain 24 7. Exactly. And when I started to eat more carbs, my adrenal fatigue went away that I was fighting with for four years. My Which thyroid is... balanced out, my estrogen balanced. So all my hormones started to balance and I started to get more energy. Who would have thought? That's no one. why I love carbs and I will never cut them out because they're so important. We just need to be eating the healthier ones most of the time. Moderation. So, which carbs would you recommend to people to enjoy most? All your veggies, especially your starches, like sweet potatoes, yams, yep. meats, carrots, all your greens, your bell peppers, your fruits. I'm a bigger fan of the lower sugar just because I like those better. I, I'm a berry fan. I've always been a berry fan. Mm -hmm. But I still love a good banana. I still love a mango in the summer. I have a banana watermelon. Yes, Ready, right? watermelon. Um, and you'd never think those are carbs, so you're probably exactly. consuming them anyway. Veggies and fruits are great carbs. And then if we look at like your quinoas, your brown rices, your buckwheats, right? Mm -hmm. Your potatoes, they're all good. And, and we can use them in different ways. And it doesn't mean you have to eat like 10 servings of potatoes a day, but it's like mix your food up, try different things, try different recipes. And you actually and just said something. Confidence. You said something really important. Mix up your food. Yes. You don't want variety. to eat the same thing every day because your body hits like sort of 
plateau mode, yep. and then you're not gonna remember how to digest all the other foods. That, and if you get bored, that's when you're gonna rebel and you're gonna go out and binge on all the things that you're not allowing yourself to have, and then you're gonna feel like complete garbage. So just add a lot of variety and look forward to what you eat, because when you do that, you don't feel deprived at all. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's important to optimal health going through the summer, right? If you can do those kinds of things, you're not going to feel pressured that you have to all of a sudden restrict yourself to build your summer bod because you're just going to be healthy the whole year through and spring's going to hit and you're going to be like, yep, I look beautiful, I look awesome, I feel good in my body, I'm not going to restrict myself for the next two months and I'm going to go into the summer feeling amazing and I'm going to enjoy it. Exactly. I am confident it's huge. and I feel good in my body. Because in those months, you develop not only like a very healthy relationship with food, but you've started to understand the positive sides of eating all these nourishing yes. foods. And then in turn, you look in the mirror and you see a fabulous human. Like, yes. you're so sexy. Yes. Each and every one of you. Exactly. And the better care we take of ourselves and the less we lead ourselves into that restriction, the more confidence we get because we feel better, we know we're not punishing ourselves, and that builds connection. And that's what we want, mm -hmm. building connection. And you don't want to get to the end of the summer and regret holding yourself back from enjoying because you didn't look the way that you wanted to. No regrets. And to touch on that, why do you think you need to look a certain way? Who Who is putting this um, idea into your mind? Yeah. I mean, I'll be the first to say, yes, I wanted a big ass for around three years. But that doesn't mean I looked at a magazine and saw it. I knew that I didn't have hips. I wasn't going to go get surgery. I just decided I'm going to work out and let's see if I can change the shape yeah. of my body. And I did. That doesn't mean I appreci appreciate myself more, but through this three year long journey, I've learned to love me for my flaws and accept them and then move on. For years I spent, like I spent, ba uh, ugh, I can't speak, I spent years bashing my myself for the way I looked. Yeah, me and, now, and now finally, I, I don't even care. Literally, I look in the mirror and I've said this to my friend Morgan before, I see nothing is perfect. If I don't like the way I look today, it's just because I'm having a bad day. Maybe I ate something that bloated me. Maybe I didn't have enough water yesterday. Maybe I had a bad day because of my boss. Maybe I had a bad day because of my own boss, me. <laughs> uh, anything can change the way you look. You can wake up the next day and look fabulous, and the next day you'd look like an ogre. I love ogres. <laughs> It's just, it's all about mentality and believing in yourself and seeing the beauty in the mirror that, that, that exists. Yes, you don't exactly. need reassurance from anyone. No. And if you do wake up and you don't feel good in your skin, I really invite you to ask yourself, what can I do right now to feel better? And, and maybe there's an act of self-care, something really kind that you do for yourself to spoil yourself, to, to boost that confidence. Uh, so things that I would suggest, um, it involves kind of friskiness, get naked, yeah. look in the mirror. Um, so, m things that I've depicted uh, about my body before are the fact that I sort of have like broader shoulders. That used to bother me. I don't care anymore. I'm super stoked on them. I used to complain that maybe my quads were too big. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told for many years that my nose was too large. Don't give a shit. But that was something I used to care about when I looked in the mirror. So what I do now is when I see those negative images popping into my head as I look at myself naked, I think to myself, yeah, you have big legs, but you're super strong. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah you I have, can relate. Yeah, you have big shoulders, but I don't know anyone else with this back. And I mean, yes, I do, but I, I have to tell myself that I'm I'm the only you're Maria Kuchelian who's on the planet, yeah. and I'm me. Um, my nose, great. I look like my mom, and she's hot as hell. So I, I don't know. Yeah. You just have to think the most positive things. There's no sense in, like... There are people out there, I go to the Talisman Gym here in Calgary, and there are people who are much less fortunate, yes. fortunate than me, and I mean much less fortunate. And they kick more ass at the gym than I've ever done. Like I've watched people, I, I don't know, what's the exercise machine where you no. use to fall? No, with your arms, um, just your arms. Oh. It's I'm like an elliptical sure. for your arms. Anyways, um, and they're, they, they have no feeling from the bottom down. And they kick more ass than I've ever seen. They have their trainers yelling at them, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And they're looking at them saying, I know. And I'm sitting there feeling sorry for the fact that I, you know, woke up and didn't have a banana because Andrew ate the last one. <laughs> We just need to remember how blessed we are, Yes, right? we have to have gratitude and really celebrate what we have because we are so lucky to be healthy, to be able to move and hear and enjoy life. 
So we need to stop taking for granted what we have right now. Exactly. Even just watching and listening to this video, yeah. you should feel pretty grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have we touched on everything? I, I think don't we really know. have. Yeah. So throw away the magazines, delete the people on social media that are maybe toxic. impacting you in a negative way or toxic and feeling like they're forcing you to go down this path of the summer bod and just enjoy yourself. Treat your body well, eat well, get your sleep, say positive things to yourself and that's gonna help you a lot more than yeah. restriction. Stop scrolling, who gives a shit? I've stopped looking on Instagram yeah. and I mean, sorry, I look at my foodies and I comment, but if I'm on my personal, I just like, and if I see it, I like it. And it's as easy as that. I don't see half the stuff anyways because of the new algorithm. Yeah. But I think what I'm trying to say is, if you fixate, if you zoom, if you notice, if you're yeah. like, oh, is that edited or not? No one gives a shit. Yeah. Trust me, when I see you on the street, I see the real you and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah it was edited. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't matter, just be you. Yeah, because you are beautiful. And you're the only one out of the yeah. seven plus billion yes. of us, which is super cool. It's crazy. So go out and be your badass self. Heck yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our rant today. And if you want to hear the full meal deal, you can do so by listening to the No Sugar Coding podcast. That episode comes out this Sunday. What is that, April? The 24th? I believe so, or 23rd. Um, so definitely make sure you come and um, check that out. You can subscribe on iTunes. You can check it out on amberfood.ca. Maria, where can people find it for you? I'm going to link it on Food by Maria's bio on Instagram. I'll also do a quick blog post. You'll find it on Facebook. Don't worry. You won't find it. You'll find you, it. You won't find any problems finding it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, yeah. Maria. Thank you all for joining. Bye. Bye.